All right, welcome back to another episode of the Perfect Ten Podcast. I'm one half of your host, I'm Daniel Dees. Alongside me, as always, the mayor himself, Jacob Erty. Dude, I didn't say our names last episode. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I, knew, I knew something was different because we stopped after the song and was like, oh, I, y'all thought this song was coming. And then never ah, went back. Yeah. Never went true. back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> We're only 185 episodes in. Dude. We'll, we'll nail it one day. We'll get it one day. <laughs> Yes, as always, this episode is brought to you by Boot Crew Media. And this episode is also brought to you by the Kelly Gibson Foundation. The Kelly Gibson Foundation is a community-driven nonprofit organization that focuses on supporting first responders, military initiatives, and children's athletic programming through golf in the greater New Orleans and Gulf Gulf Coast region. For more information, go to www.kellygibsonfoundation.org. Again, that's www.kellygibsonfoundation.org. Yes, it is. Yes. So today we were supposed to do this a long time ago with Caleb Thompson, who's who you know from the uh, top ten Disney movies. Yes. Yes. We really should. I, we probably could have got him on for this one too. Didn't yeah. even think about it. Oh yeah. well. Sorry, Caleb. I know too you're bad, listening. dog. Love you, boy. <laughs> but today we're breaking down the top ten sci-fi movies. Yes. Um, I have. What's probably. You're not much of a movie watcher, so I'm. I'm. I'm nah, very, I'm very interested in what you're putting. Now nah, I got a. I got a good list. But my number one is a little obscure. I can name two you definitely have on there. Okay. Um, I got some super and honorables. Uh, okay. And I got a trivia question for you. Okay, what is it? What is considered the very first piece of science fiction media? Like, what's the, what the science fiction story that started it all? Uh is it like a um, like a children's story or something? No. You talking about like a movie or? Well, it's it's a book and it eventually became a movie. Came out in eighteen eighteen. The Odyssey? No, I don't like this thing. That'll be Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yes. I feel like there's definitely sci-fi stories before that. She gets cre- that story gets credit being mm, the first okay. sci-fi story. Well, all right, all right. Well, I mean, hey, if they credit her, who am I to say no? All right, I got you. Um, so uh, you got any honorables? Honorable mention, I got Total Recall. Don't have it. Eh, it's okay. It's, it's it's. I'm very controversial with my. It's it's wacky when it, it comes to science fiction and horror. I'm so very. I watched it again not too long to ago. There's just so many iconic scenes from that movie. Yeah, like the, the three the titty bro. Oh, that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody's go to the three titties. That dude's head blowing up whenever he flew out of the thing. Yeah, on Mars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and, and I mean, uh, Sharon Stone, fine. Yes. Smoking, smoke show. Yes, yes. Uh, so to, to recall, I got aliens, uh, all, you know, I don't know, what is it, three okay. of them, whatever. There's a lot. I got League, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Okay. And I got uh, the Riddick trilogy. Okay. I don't have any of those. Um, I mean, no, we'll get at it. And I guess you could put the Illusionist or um, what's the other one? That's the exact same movie, The Prestige. Love the Prestige. Both of them are great. One's Ed Norton, one is Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian Bale, uh, Hugh Jackman, David Bowie, Michael Caine. Yeah, yeah, phenomenal movie. But anyway, so I thought that my honorable mention to oh, the Prestige. I have a super. You want me to go ahead and do it, or you want it? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do it. So I put it in super. Because I'm really hoping it's sci-fi. Okay. Um, it is, but it's kind of a wild prediction. Okay. I got idiocracy. That's science fiction. Well, yeah, because they travel in time. Yeah, time well, travel, automatic well, science fiction. He actually doesn't travel in time. He just gets frozen and then wakes up in 500 years. Well, it's still time travel. It's not. Theoretically, that just means 500 years passed. It's science fiction because they haven't been able to, what is it, cryo, what, what cryogenically it? freeze? Yeah. There is the theory that that's possible. Yeah. So this just is a representation of what might would happen. Yeah. And we're hoping that's 500 years from now, we're not living in idiocracy. Mm-hmm. But you do never know. Yeah. All right. My honorable mentions. My fir- okay. I'm going to say that one for my last honorable mention because I'm going to go off on it. Okay. All right. I got Dune, all-time classic. People are going to be pissed. That's not in my top 10. 
People are going to be pissed it's not my one. People are going to be pissed it's not top three. That's be so far the most controversial thing I've said on here so far. This can be a very controversial list for me. Okay. I got the Star Trek uh, movies, the even numbers only. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, like Star Trek 2, 4, 6. That, that's like 8, a, 10? Yeah, that's a recurring thing <laughs> with Star Trek movies. People like people who are like love Star Trek will strongly agree with that. Because Star Trek, the first movie, utter trash. Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan, phenomenal movie. But so uh, it just alternates. It goes trash, great, trash, great. All right, I got the uh, the World's End. Rather new, it's a comedy sci-fi movie. Um, I think you would like that movie. What is it? The World's End. As Simon Pegg, Nick. Oh, Cross. dude, I didn't think about. Well, the gods must be crazy. It's not sci-fi, but I don't know for some reason when you say that, it made me thought of it. Think of oh, okay. you know what I'm talking about? No, the gods must be crazy. No, uh -uh. dude, it isn't. All time, you hate knowing me about not knowing classics. The gods must be crazy. Yeah, it's uh Mel Brooks, same dude that did Blazing Saddles. Uh, he throws a coke bottle out of the airplane and this like tribe in Africa finds it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go watch that. The gods must I be love crazy. Mel Brooks. I can't believe I never heard of that, dude. I mean, it is an all time classic. Okay, I'll go watch it. You gotta convince me. Uh, I got Attack the Block. That's a it's a sci fi movie from the UK about aliens invading like this big apartment complex bunch of teenagers fight them off awesome movie uh i got paul where seth rogan voices an alien oh i forgot about that I, paul rules i'll do the also forgot dude there's so many more sci-fi movies that like i didn't think about i got galaxy quest with tim allen what's the one um what the end of the world no no, no neighborhood watch Neighborhood, uh, uh, the watch, the watch. Yeah, that movie's awesome. Too. I'll throw that in my honorable mention. <laughs> I completely mention. forgot about the that watch. One, is dude. pretty damn kick ass. All right, so my last honorable mention. Actually, I'm gonna say it's an honorable slash dishonorable. Okay. Okay. I love the franchise. Do not get me wrong. I love the franchise, but when you really think about the movies, it is riddled with so many plot holes that you're gonna have to restart the whole franchise. People are gonna message me about this tape. Star Wars. Like the whole movies, when you really get down to it, it's just like they made it up as they went on. They, they didn't have a, a clear, concise plan making these movies. I'm not going to, I'm not going to disagree with you, dude. I could have wrote it. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is you take the world that we know and you change the names of all the beings and the places. Okay. You just described fiction. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, though, like, there's just, yeah, uh, well, we're not going to get into it. Yeah. yeah, Star Wars gets an honorable slash dishonorable. Great franchise, but, man, that when you really look at the stories, they're kind of trash. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> I agree, dude. Okay. They got that out of the, the way. People are always hating on me for this take. But I really got to talking to somebody about it. I'm like, man, th like, these stories don't make much damn sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, so go ahead. Anyway, all right, wait, yeah, so my 10, 9, 8, right? <clears throat> my 10 spot, dude. <laughs> I do have a couple very obscure picks in here. <laughs> this is what JJ just said. What? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good one. <laughs> good. Uh, so my number 10 spot. Let's hear it. This may be the most obscure pick on my list, <laughs> but I just love, dude, for, this was like one of my favorite movies or like series of movies like as a kid. I got Tremors. Love Tremors. Tremors 1, 2, and 3. Then oh, I don't know what happened with the rest of them. Don't watch them. It went stop, to, stop it went, after 3. Stop it went after to 5 three. or more. They recently had one come out in 2020. They did, yeah. Do not watch it. No, Tremors. They will piss you off. Tremors 1 and 2, similar creatures. 3, they changed it up. Still interesting. Mm -hmm. Didn't watch any after that. Yeah. Tremors is great, though, dude. I love the first three. Yeah. The first three, great movies. Uh, Everything after three sucks. I really could have put Tremors high on my list. Like, I just didn't think, like, I, I thought maybe it was just me that liked it. No, I love Tremors. Yeah. You can watch them all on Netflix. Uh, I do need to go back and watch those again, dude. They are classic. I've seen, I've seen Tremors one and two maybe ten times each. Okay. Uh, my number nine spot. I got a twist on your favorite movie of all time. I got Palm Springs. Oh, I thought you were going somewhere else. I thought we were about to have a buzzer. Okay. I like Palm Springs. Yeah, Palm Springs is great. I, I, I like as much as I don't like Groundhog's Day, I do like Palm Springs. Yeah, they're both great. 
Now, don't get me wrong. The hole in the earth or whatever. So, well, I mean, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you should know if we're doing a movie list, there's going to be spoilers. There's going to be spoilers. Yeah. Like, sure, who knows where that glitch in the system came from. Whatever. But it at least shows how we got into the, the loop. And then, you know... Well, I don't want to just give away the whole movie. It's a great movie, though. Yeah. And then they both end up in the loop, whatever, cool. Then they just live in there. Yeah. Just, you know, there they are, you know. Yeah. Um, it's my nine spot. My number eight spot. Um, <laughs> people are not going to love that I have this in my list. Okay. I got Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it, be- it, be- it belongs in a sci-fi movie list. Okay. It just does. It does. Not it's, mine though. It's one of the all time. It's one of the all time great series of all. You know, it just is what it is. So, I got it in there. Okay. So, Star Wars in the eight spot. All right, I respect it. All right, number ten. I got The Martian with Matt Damon. He's stranded on Mars. Okay, I don't think I ever watched it. Good movie. I highly recommend seeing it. I won't spoil it for you, but it, I will spoil it for everything. For people listening, if you see the movie. okay, I mean, you can spoil it for me, dog. And you know, pretty much he gets left on Mars, uh, he has to survive, so he survives just eating potatoes that he fertilizes with his own shit. And yeah, it's a good movie. Okay, I'm trying to uh, contact people, hey, I'm still alive, come rescue me. It's like saving Private Ryan, but on Mars, okay, yeah. All right, number nine, I thought you're fixing to go here with your Palm Springs pick. It's like Groundhog's Day, I got Edge of Tomorrow. It's uh, Tom Cruise. He lives every day over and over again. But, but it's during like an alien invasion. Like they're fighting aliens. Okay. I've definitely, <clears throat> I've definitely heard of it, but I, I've never seen it. Highly recommend. Oh, you know what? That's probably one of Tom Cruise's best movies. Honorable mention, Langoliers. What? The Langoliers? What's that? It's based off an old Stephen King novel, novel I believe. It's, uh, it's about the creatures that eat time. Okay. You know, like time doesn't exist behind us. The Langoliers are what Eats it. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of wild. It's like a really long movie. I'm sure if I watched it today, I would absolutely hate it. But when I was a kid, it was interesting. I'll give it a watch. Pretty sure it's a Stephen King thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that was uh, off right, the rails. Yeah, but so, nah, Edge of Tomorrow, Tom Cruise is pretty much as fights aliens day after day after day, but he's repeating the same day over and over again. Dude, the more I'm looking at this list, the more I realize I missed so many. It happens. Dang it. Number eight, I got Starship Troopers. Okay, another one I've definitely heard of, and I think I've seen a long time ago. Yeah, I, that's like one. That's like the first time I've seen people fight aliens head to head in like a battle, like war, and just a lot of gore happening. Dude, this is bothering me now that I completely forgot about this one, dude. I got to know what it is. Does it involve a bald guy that's the main character? Well, that was your eight. That was my eight. All right, so before I get into my seven, six, another honorable mention, I got the Riddick trilogy. That was your honorable mention. Whoa. (laughs) Did I say that, dude? Yes. Dude, I swear I just looked at the list. This is blowing my mind right now, dude. I told you, I got a million things going on in my head right now. Jesus Christ, dude. (laughs) Do you have a concussion or something? No, I told you I read four books in the past two days, dude. Listen to four books. Well, uh, very intently. Jesus. (laughs) Jesus. <laughs> wow. That's a first. You threw it in your honorable mention and then you got mad because you didn't rank it. <laughs> well, I guess, dude. All right. We're going to have to straighten back out here. Pull uh, yourself together, man. I got to drink a little bit more. Hold on. I, I got to calm my brain down. I've been studying corporate law and stuff for like four days straight. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Right. We back? I think we're back. I think. Can't guarantee anything. <laughs> it's right there in the honor. All right. Um, so that's a probably that's probably an all-time blunder right there. Wow, dude. Uh all right. So my seventh spot, right? Yeah, mm. let's hear it. I got Jurassic Park. Okay, cloning and all that. Dinosaurs, let's do it. <laughs> sure, it's science fiction, dude. Yeah. Um Though, aren't they aren't they claiming that they can do it now? I mean, they think they can possibly do it. Which, I mean, like, just not not in the way that we're thinking. <laughs> do you listen? Do you listen to the pod? I know we've talked about it. Yeah, every now and then I'll, I'll catch an episode. So Zito 
Which I mean, like if you if you listen to Pat Magba show, which we both do, obviously, and if you listen to the pod like Zito, he swears that the dinosaurs are like bitch made cats. Like, <laughs> like he thinks like big museum is just exaggerating it for clout. Big museum. Yeah. I like it. So he's like, <laughs> so all the other guys are like, yeah, Zito, you heard about this, huh? They can like create real dinosaurs. Now he's like, yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> it's gonna be like the size of a chicken. Like, you know, like his whole stance is like that even if they like recreate them, they're going to just be like farm animals. Yeah, I, I like I'll agree with him on that. Yeah. So but anyway, Jurassic Park, like these little pussies went extinct for a reason. Yeah. But like Jurassic World, that whole. So there's is there three of each now? Yeah. They, like the, the Jurassic World. Eh. The first movie's great. Every other movie after the first one sucks. Jurassic Park. That, I mean, that was just like ours. I mean, that, I guess that came out as we were growing up. Like we were probably what, like early teens or no? Oh, no, no, the, the first one came first out. When we were real little. Like we were like seven. Yeah. But Jurassic Park, uh, that's in the seventh spot. My number six spot. Um, I got the Matrix. Not a Matrix guy. What? You don't have it in your list? No. Oh, I mean, come on, guy. Yeah, I just yeah. Eh, eh. The Matrix is like the ultimate alter uh universe yeah so i mean how I, I don't know i feel like you've had the matrix high in one of your lists before i don't think i have that i mean i, I mean i watched the movies it's just no boring. no whenever we did f- fictional places oh yeah the matrix we both had the matrix yeah i like to live in the matrix i think it's a cool oh, idea okay. well if anything the movie's cooler than the concept of the universe huh yeah. Uh, but anyway, I so say yeah, Matrix in the sixth spot. I, I mean, that threw me. I thought I was 100% sure you were going to have the Matrix. In Hell no, I'm not a Matrix. Okay. Fan. All right. All you right. S- number seven. I'm. This is one of the movies I'm, I know that you have. Okay. I got the fifth element. Okay. You're right. All right. We'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> number six. I got Inception. Never watched it. That's Leo, right? Leo. And it's. uh. They go inside dreams. And they go inside more dreams, and within that dream, it's like a layer. Okay. Very dope movie. Yeah. Um. I just want. It's kind of hard to follow. It's one at, that's at on time. my list of movies to watch. Um. Just have it. It's one of those it. movies you have to pay attention to. Yeah. I mean, and it's if I'm watching a movie, I'm paying attention. Yeah. It's hard to pay attention to a three-hour movie for three hours straight. No, like legitimately, like I I enjoy movies. So like, if I'm watching something, that's all I'm doing. Respect. You know. Yeah, but a three-hour movie, it has to be a banger or else I will hate that movie for the rest of my life. Yeah, kind of like The Irishman. Exactly. A lot of, lot of dead time. I don't like it. Unne- a lot of unnecessary. Like the movie Lincoln. Well, like Django was almost three hours, right? But it was awesome. All good. All good. Yeah. You're like, you got to keep me stimulated for three hours if you yeah. want me to watch a 3 I've really movie. been meaning to go back and watch Titanic again. <laughs> I like Titanic. I haven't seen it since I was like, 10 years old. I love that saying it. So, yeah, that's my 7-6. Okay. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Um, so, my number five spot. The first two all-time. I don't really remember the third that much, but I think they made like four and five cents. I got Men in Black. Ah, shit, I didn't think of Men in Black. I thought I that love Men in Black, dude. I don't think. Just, just for all the characters that are, like, the storyline, honestly. The new Men in Black was hot garbage. The one with Chris Hemsworth, hot garbage. Well, the first two, like I say. Oh, no, the first three. The one with Josh Brolin's awesome. I don't really remember the third one. It's a newer one. came out like 20. I think I saw it whenever it first came out, but not since. Love that one. Um, But, like, honestly, couldn't really tell you much of the actual storyline. that Like, I don't really I remember. I can't really it, but all tell the, you about the But all the characters, one. like, are oh, hilarious. Oh, yeah. The second one had the one that had, Alien had balls for Chin. Yeah. Love that. That and uh, like the little the little roaches or worms or whatever they are are the funniest. <laughs> Love them. Uh, that and the actual cockroach guy and that and the little little alien inside the dude's head that told him the yeah. galaxy is on Orion's belt. Yeah, I think. Watch going back. Think about that movie. Those worm guys. If you know somebody who does a lot of cocaine, you like you make that connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're the same same vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also like it's almost like. That movie was the closest representation of like that movie version of uh 
Dude, I'm drawing a blank right now. Sorry. What's the TV show? Oh, uh, Rick and Morty. Love Rick and Morty, too. I feel like Men in Black is like a similar version, like movie version yeah, I of think, Rick and Morty. I think Men in Black walks so Rick and Morty could fly. There we go. So that's my five spot. My number four spot. Um, see, dude, all right. Three of my top four. If you don't have them in your list, I don't know what you're doing over here. Just go ahead. So my number four spot, I got Predator. Don't have it. Oh, I like Predator just fine. Great I like movie. it. I like it more of an action movie than I like it as a sci-fi movie. Okay, so if we're talking sci-fi storyline, not that great. If we're talking about that's, sci-fi, how, I, that's how I made this. If list. We're talking about sci-fi movie that is great. It's in there. See, but I see it more as an action movie. Than well, movie. it's absolutely an action movie, but it is sci-fi. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree. I'll agree to that. And it's a great movie. It's a great movie, but I think it's a great action movie. Then it's before. not. Yeah, it's not deep into the sci-fi. I mean, it is in the genre, but it's not like highly involved in science fiction. It just happens to be this alien that is on Earth. Okay. But it is, so it is sci fi. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely sci fi. It's one of my favorite like action movies. Yes. So I got Predator, four spot. My number five spot. I got The Thing. The Thing. Oh, um, you don't know who's the alien, who's not, because it keeps killing them and taking their form. Yeah, I mean, I saw that when I was real little. Still holds up. Still a fantastic movie. Dude, honestly. Watched that this morning. Oh, dude. Invisible Man. Classic. Hollow Man, you mean? Hollow Man. Hollow Man rules. Invisible Man sucks. Hollow Man rules. Wait. Hollow Man's one with Kevin Bacon. No, I'm thinking Invisible Man, dude. No, you're thinking of Hollow I promise you the one you're thinking of has to be be Hollow Man. I think it's Invisible Man, dude. The one with Kevin Bacon? No. What the fuck? Invisible Man was dumb, but it was... (laughs) Classic though, dude. Yeah, Invisible Man. He he ended up like turning into a dick. Hollow Man, dude. Okay, maybe I am thinking of Hollow Man. Yeah, Hollow Man is amazing. Dude, why is Reed you texting me, bro? What? I don't know what this is, dude. <laughs> anyway, um. So yeah, number five, the thing. <laughs> okay see probably kurt russell's best movie i love kurt russell dude i know you do that's why i <laughs> name dropped him <laughs> i feel like kurt russell could play you in a movie like if i had i like fan, that <laughs> if i had a fan cast jake Erdy in a movie it your actor would be kurt russell i like that a thousand percent yes he just just because he is captain ron dude yeah that is who he is yeah uh so that was your that was my number five my number four i got the first alien movie Okay, well, I had him on I'll mention. The first Alien movie, sci-fi, every movie, then on account as horror. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. But, I mean, still, right. Well, so, I like most about Alien, like, that was the first science fiction movie where not everything in space was sunshine, rainbow, everything's cool. This one is when everything is not cool. So I see, I see. So like in yours, the the weight, the weighting of it is based more on the storyline being science fiction. Yeah. See, so like mine are just science fiction movies that I like. Yeah. Like they're in that category, but they're more. I'm ranking this as science fiction stories. Okay, I see what you're saying. Mine were just movies that are science fiction. That's why I didn't do Predator because I see it. Do I love Predator? Absolutely. I love the whole series of Predator, but I see it more as action. Right. The only sci- the only sci-fi thing about it is the fact that they are fighting an alien. Yeah. Right. I got you. Anyway, so that was your five four. That was my five four. So my number three. Um, I got an Independence Day. Don't have it. Ah, uh, well, again, that's me. So saying, I see it as action. I see, right. So that is the different weight weighting system. It is again. It's aliens. It, it so is science fiction. Yeah, but it. I just see it more as action. I do sci fi. Uh, I mean, understandable. So I can see our lists are going to take different turns here. Yeah, but unbelievable movie though. Love Independence. Day. Independence Day is great. The sequel, hot garbage. Um, I did not know there was a sequel. Be thankful. Okay, I'm live, not gonna, live, live I won't. Ignorance. I won't watch it then. Don't. Um. Uh, but yeah, so again, so since my the only qualifying factor for my movies was that they had to be science fiction, and then the rest I just based on the movie, I got it in my top three. 
All right. I dig it. Independence Day. Also, shout out uh, to last week, like last episode. Yeah. No, not last episode. Before, last but... episode. Today's Thursday. Oh, that's true. Independence. I thought you meant like we went over uh, <laughs> fictional dads. Oh, what? <laughs> I was a what? Well, that was last week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Independence Day for obvious reasons. I mean, unbelievable movie. All right. My number three. I've name dropped this movie on this podcast before. I got Man from Earth. I feel like you have talked. Wait, who, who, who's the main? Who's the main character? Uh, no actor you would know. What? I thought for some reason. Okay, the whole gist of this movie is people are just sitting around and talking. There's no scene uh, like they're just sitting in this yeah, cabin. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're okay. just talking. Okay. And the whole you gist of this is like this this caveman touched like this rock or something and became immortal. And he's just telling people his, his life story. And the whole thing is you're with the people. It's like, is he telling the truth or not? But everything he's saying kind of holds some weight, but I feel like he's bullshitting. I don't know. Such a great movie. I got to, I mean, I guess I got to watch it because I have heard good things about it. Yeah. I mean, you could, you, you could just watch it with no picture. It could, it could stand alone as like an audio. Okay. Interesting. You don't have to watch anything. You just listen. All right. I'll take your word for it. Dude, it's one of my favorite movies. I do, I do need to do it. I feel like it's a, just one of those that you got to that you got to experience. Yeah. All right. So you're number two. My number two. Again, another one. I guess it, it has more sci-fi to it. Okay. I got Terminator 2. Number what? My number two. Let's go. Hey. Where is it at? Hey. Terminator 2 is an all-timer. Yeah, it is. One of the best movie overall movies of all time. Right. It's it's top. It, so we it, at some point we have to do just our top 10 movies. It's gonna be I feel like impossible to make that list. should be just a new year's list. We do top 50 movies. Let's do it. Because it's it's just like because our new year's list has to be the hardest list we do. Because it's just like songs. It's impossible to pick your favorite. Yeah. Movies, it's impossible to pick but, your favorite. Because that, like, if we made a top 50 movie list right now, tomorrow it will be different. Oh, yeah. I would never make the same. But, like, I could pick eight movies off the top of my head that will definitely be in it. But do I guarantee that we'll be top eight? No. We do. All right. So we need to do that as our New Year's episode. Top movies. Top 50 movies. Um, Because, like... Terminator 2 has like always been one of my favorite movies. Favorite yeah. action movies at least. And it is sci-fi. And it is more so. It's, it's a multiverse. Yes. Yeah. But Terminator 2, like Terminator 1, I thought I can watch an action movie. But Terminator 2, I know I'm watching a science fiction movie while I'm watching a lot of good the action. the Liquid Man and all that stuff. Like the special effects, awesome. Acting, great. I Everything's just great. I didn't even think about RoboCop. RoboCop's decent. Yeah. That's more action though, like I said. Yeah. But no, Terminator 2, obvious top. Yeah, top well, oh my God, I love Terminator 2. Um, so, okay, also your number two. So what, my number one? Yeah, number one. It's going to be Fifth Element. Wait, did we do a trivia question? Yeah, what was the first credited triv uh, science fiction? Okay, yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. Dude, the first three minutes of this episode. It's a blank. You, you, that's my, just mom white, was, my, my mom was shot. You're, that's white from your memory. So my number one obvious fifth element. Fifth element. I respect. It. I, I mean, love fifth element. I mean Bruce Willis. It, it, honestly, just for Chris Tucker's character alone, he is wild in that movie. It is hilarious, dude. And they got those weird, dumb, just dumb aliens, whatever they are. Yeah, you got the blue chick, whatever. <laughs> that you know, and the main chick sucks. a dime and a half. Oh, uh, the girl from which is it? Is it, is it the girl from Kill Bill? No. It's the girl from uh, 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 the Resident Evil movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mila Jovovich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever her name is. She's all right. I think she's, I think she's fine as hell. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Fifth Element as a whole. Unbelievable science fiction. I mean, it's a great movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. All right, so my number one, as pure science fiction as it goes, I got Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. Okay. I, I honestly, I've never watched it. I've heard about it a million times. Never actually watched. That's it. Uh, a movie. As soon as I watched it, I started like reading up on astrophysics and all that shit. Time dilation, wormholes, black yeah, don't, holes. Don't do all that. that shit. I, I recommend against it. 
man, like that just fried my brain for a good while. Well, and the thing is, it's mostly theories. Well, yeah, but they also had a Nobel Prize winning physicist on set, like making sure, hey, we're, we're going to keep this scientifically accurate as possible. Right. Well, like, I mean, which I mean, I, I can't say nothing because I didn't watch the movie and I'm, I'm clearly not as smart as these people. But most of that is based on theories. <laughs> that will be changed. Well, that's the thing about oh, gravity is a theory. Correct. Like subatomic particle theory is yeah, a theory. All of it, dude. And we nuke it, Japan doing that. Is is light a a a, 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 a like a, a wave or a particle? We don't know. I don't know. I'm not. That's the conversation for someone. Way some people say it's both. But the way they describe time dilation, how time. Don't go ahead and drink though, because I did just break down light. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> But, man, just the whole concept of, like, time dilation. The closer you are to a black hole, the See, further away your black hole, it's just... I'm not buying it, dude. You don't have to buy it. I buy into that 400%. That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't look into it. I've studied all of it, dude. Theory, relativity, all. Like, you, if, you, if you read uh, Einstein's uh, autobiography, all that, it gets very deep. It does. Don't <laughs> read it. <laughs> no, read it. It does no good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Unless you're going to create a new theory, don't even worry about it. <laughs> I say go for it. Uh, it is interesting, though. <laughs> Love Interstellar. As, as far as pure science fiction goes, nothing beats it. Okay. I do need to watch it. You do. Um, Just don't go down that wormhole, no pun intended, now like I did. There you go. Like the fact that wormholes are not actual holes. They're actually spheres. Just, yeah. It just, yeah, dude, fuck with turns me. in on itself. All that fun stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, don't look at it, dude. I had to, uh, like I said, it really <laughs> fucks with your brain. Like it, like it fries you, but it's so good though. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was a, that was a fun list. Yes, it was <clears throat> breakdown. Don't right. forget, uh, Breakdowns. five stars written review. Go like it, subscribe all things boot crew media. Go check out Kelly Gibson foundation. Yes, and this is the last month where you can guess the mystery object. Oh, we might have to we might have to re let that simmer and rerun till I get all these other videos <laughs> uploaded. Well, we're gonna iron it out because we also need to do it through the Instagram comments because that's gonna be easier. Yeah. We'll we'll reworkshop that whole situation. Yeah. Also, I forget we lost the we lost the trophy, dude. Oh yeah. Hunter's got the trophy. I gotta figure out what to put right here. Uh I'll find something. I'll tell you, I got a couple things. <laughs> anyway, rundowns. Um, my number 10, Tremors, 9, Palm Springs, 8, Star Wars, 7, Jurassic Park, 6, The Matrix, 5, Men in Black, 4, Predator, 3, Independence Day, 2, Terminator 2, and number 1, The Fifth Element. All right, 10, The Martian, 9, Edge of Tomorrow, 8, Starship <laughs> Trooper, 7, The Fifth Element, 6, Inception, 5, The Thing, 4, Alien, 3, Man from Earth, 2, Terminator 2, and number one, Interstellar. Nice. Good buzzer. Good, good. I'm glad we both had Terminator 2 that high. Absolutely. Um, so a, it was my number one up until this very evening. Nice. Like before I came in, I was like, I got to put Interstellar there because that movie just warped me. This is probably the first list I've ever, like, I'm, we, I made it m like months ago, clearly. And I reopened it back up. Didn't move one thing around. Also, before y'all go, I highly recommend go follow Radio Shack on Twitter right now. They have a live, radio, a live Twitter? That's the stuff they're posting. Nice. So somebody hacked it. <laughs> um called island <laughs> <laughs> nice island ladies nice uh but anyway uh make sure y'all come back monday for more and uh yeah peace, peace.